Hello and welcome to the episode 347 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. The highlights of the day include a good performance for a DECA A&R man, the end of a tour, and a discussion about the Beatles' third film. The 13th of December 1961 was a big day for the Beatles, but it started in an inconspicuous way. The band, still featuring Pete Best on drums, performed a lunchtime concert at a Cavern club in Liverpool. It was at night, though, that things got interesting. As we saw in episode 335, the Beatles' new manager, Brian Epstein, had managed to interest Decca Records enough for the label to send one of the A&R assistants, Mike Smith, to see the band live. It happened tonight, again at the Cavern Club, after Smith was treated with a dinner paid by Epson, with the Beatles topping a bill also featuring Jerry and the Pacemakers and the Four Js. Smith was impressed by the excitement of the crowd and by the performance itself, at least impressed enough to arrange a formal audition for the band in the North London Decca Recording Studios. The audition was to take place on the 1st of January 1962, as we saw on the very first episode of this podcast. One year later, on the 13th of December 1962, the Beatles had an engagement at the Corn Exchange venue in Bedford. The Beatles were substituting the original headliner of the show, Joe Brown, who withdrew at last minute. The bill also featured Robin Hall and Jimmy McGregor. Another live date in 1963, with the conclusion of the Beatles' autumn tour, with a final stop at the Gaumon Cinema in Southampton. The tour, with its 34 dates, represented for the British public what the 1964 US tour was for the North American audiences. The quintessential Beatles experience, forever to hold dear. Another thing to hold dear is the creators that give you the content you like. I hope to be one of those, for you. If I am, well, why not visiting www.simonmas.com support and see how you can lend me a hand? I promise I will keep on producing the best content I can. Thank you. Moving on to 1965, we find George Harrison, John Lennon, Paul McCartney and Brian Epstein meeting at NEMS offices in Argyll Street, London, to discuss future film projects for the band. Nothing came of it. Epstein had acquired the rights for Richard Condon's 1961 novel A Talent for Loving, but during the discussion the four couldn't agree on whether or not the material was suitable for the Beatles, and so the matter was dropped. Later in the evening, John Lennon and Paul McCartney went to the Scotch of St. James Club, where they met the Who's John and Twistle, drummer Viv Prince, freshly sacked by Pretty Things for his unreliability, and Noreen Brown, wife of socialite Tara Brown, heir of the Guinness fortune. Brown invited the party back to her house. John declined the invitation, but Paul accepted. During the house party, Paul tried LSD for the first time. He wasn't as impressed by the experience as John and George had been, and so he never took to the drug as much as they did. This concludes our episode today. Tomorrow we'll have a little help from Ringo. Follow the episode for more. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.